My name's Ryan, and this is my life in four minutes. On November 3rd, 1992, at 10:12 a.m., I was born in Poughkeepsie, New York, to Daniel Stiff, a railroad worker, and Linda Stiff, an IBM quality inspector, who were both still grieving the loss of their firstborn son. I did some baby stuff, like poop, eat, cry, and I began to form distinguishable words when I was seven months old. And the first word was dada. I learned to crawl and quickly advanced to walking when I was 10 months old. I lived in Fishkill, New York, for the first year of my life. We then moved into my mother's childhood home in Toledo. At 15 months old, I was baptized into the Catholic faith at St. Charles Church. My mother was a stay-at-home mom for the entire second year of my life. I started going to a babysitter when I was three, named Hovey, because my mom returned to work as a graphic designer. Because I was going to Hovey's, I did not attend a formal preschool. I continued to go to Hovey's Monday through Friday, every day, for two years. In August of 97, I was five years old and attending St. Charles School, where I spent the majority of my time playing with box and color. Over the next nine years, I climbed the education ladder. With each passing year, I learned more and more skills that would carry me through life, such as basic math, how to write, and how even how to make friends. When I was seven, I had my first communion and soon after had my first migraine. Little did I know that these pesky little buggers would soon plague me for the rest of my existence. In sixth grade, I played football for the St. Charles Bulldogs. The following year, we won the Toy Bowl. After completing my sacrament of confirmation, I graduated the eighth grade. I started my freshman year at St. Francis, loving the classes, but I despised my peers. On November 27th, my migraines really started to kick in. Up until this point, I had never had a migraine that had lasted more than a few days. This particular migraine lasted for two years, but more on that in a different video. I missed 78 days of school that year and still maintained a three point something. In the fall of 2008, we moved to Swanton, Ohio. I transferred to Evergreen High School, where I liked the people, but I hated the classes. During that year, I met a great group of people known as my friends. This consisted of Jake Weber, Wes Bandy, Joe Stuntsman, Stephen Mack, Dakota Beck, and Colby Stuller. Hi. I didn't do much my sophomore year. However, I did discover and fall in love with a great game by the name of Dungeons and Dragons. I went to a shop called House of Games where I met a group of guys who had soon become the adventuring party for a two-year campaign. The summer before my senior year, my best friend Colby basically lived with me for the entire summer before heading off to Tiffin University. Throughout high school, I had various girlfriends, but nothing that lasted for more than two months until I met Tessa Kennedy. That same summer, Tessa and I started dating in June of 2010. I graduated Evergreen in May of 2011. The summer after I graduated, I simply enjoyed being out of high school. I didn't really have any plans for my future at this time. I was just enjoying life and spending time with my girlfriend. I made last minute plans to attend Owens Community College that fall, where I would study commercial art technologies. Later in October, I did my first season at Hollow Weekends as a screamster. I immediately fell in love with it. As usual, my migraines got in the way of my work, so I had to withdraw from all but one of my classes. Once I dropped out of college, I needed something to do with my life. I applied for various jobs. I started working for Manpower Temp Agency. However, this was not my first time working. I worked at Kroger for two years starting my sophomore year and Coldstone for six months. My first assignment was BX Solutions. Come January, they no longer needed Manpower employees, so I was forced to find another assignment. Over the course of the next couple months, I worked various odd jobs and assignments for Manpower. In March, I was kicked out of my house by my father over an argument. Having no permanent job or a place to live, I was desperate for any form of stability or even a couch to crash on. So I called up my buddy Jake, who was going to BGSU at the time, and I asked if I could stay in his dorm with him and my cousin Christian until I got back on my feet. I stayed with them for about a month, and then I moved in with my D&D buddies for another two and a half months. Then I returned home. Those three months were the most liberating time of my life. I was hired into BX, and I've been working there ever since. I also got a job at GameStop, later in June. In September, I ended my two and a half year relationship with my girlfriend. In October, I returned to Hollow Weekends, and up until December, I had just been working. Jake and I had been jokingly talking about living together, so in December, we finally made plans for him to move in with me at my house. And he did. Since then, everything has been on the slow and steady rise. That was awesome. Ha <laughs> <laughs> <Aww. coughs> First, I'm wearing two clashing colors. Wearing three clashing colors? Two shades of one color. <laughs> I don't see you. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching. Why can't I do this? Oh, you can't. Just do it. Alright. Thanks, guys, for watching this video, and be looking forward... Be looking forward to... <laughs> 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 this is hard enough as it is. Why must you make it more so? <laughs>
I can see you now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Thanks, guys, for watching this video, and... Thanks, guys, for watching this video, and be sure to just... To describe? To describe. <laughs> to describe my video. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching this video. Be sure to put a comment below. Thanks guys for watching this video. If you... <laughs> Subscribe.